there's a there's a lot of uh, this these sound prediction softwares out there, and I, I use Insul, and it's like, well, you know, I'll I'll put something in, I go, what? No, no way. You know, well, it's giving me a number. I'll I'll show them this number, and I'll tell them, look, this is not really you know real world stuff, but this is what the program. If, yeah, if the program gives you frequencies between 125 and 4K, it'll be reasonably close. Okay. Mm. Anything beyond that, you're not getting an STC, you're getting a, a TL. And yeah. there, once you go below 125, 160 hertz, it's a best guess in most cases because yeah. there is hardly any data at those sort of frequencies. And all these simulation programs have to have data to base the simulations on. And if there's no data, then it's just best to guess. Basically, what happens is you you try to run a, a, a formula in areas where it may or may not apply. But right. it's the best tool, it's the best tool you have when there's no data. Yeah. Okay. But in our case, because we're able to measure where we do, there is data available. And, and what's happening is we're starting to now look at at, at the, where the the problems, the soft spots in software are. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can tell you that basically you don't want to trust anything below 125 hertz. You don't want to trust anything over about 560. Yeah, yeah. It's just there, there's just not enough data to be able to make a simulation program that will predict those ranges. Even STC, the this the uh, standard for STC says that 125 hertz you can have plus and minus 6 dB, uh, and still be acceptable. Yeah. That that's how much allowance there is in the in the measurement process uh, at 125 hertz. So if you go six and you know six and six, that's 12 dB. My God, that's that's over double the levels. Yeah, six dB is is huge. And if they're doing that on either side, this is plus and minus six. You know, all of a sudden I'm looking at this going, it, you best throw up a coin and say this is about what it's going to be. Okay, right. and that's about how much you can trust it. Yeah. Excellent. 